Do you have an amazing website idea, but building a website and hosting it feels like a mystery? In this hosting or tutorial, I'll demystify the entire process. It's a full step-by-step -step guide on how to use Hostinger from sign up to site creation. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to launch your new site. Let's make it happen. Before I walk you through how to host and build your site, you'll first need to choose a hosting plan that best fits your website. If you're not sure where to start, I recommend going with the most budget-friendly option, shared hosting. It's affordable, beginner-friendly, and perfect for a first website. On top of that, hosting or pricing gets even lower if you scan the QR code or click the link in the description, since you'll get my special hosting or coupon code. Even their most affordable shared hosting plan includes automatic backups, which is something many competitors only offer on higher priced plans. Every plan is also WordPress optimized with pre-installed plugins that handle updates, security, and technical configuration, so you can focus on growing your site instead of dealing with setup headaches. So, which shared hosting plan should you choose? The entry-level plan premium is more than enough for most users. It lets you create up to three websites, includes 20 gigabytes of SSD storage, and comes with a free domain for one year. That said, my favorite and most recommended option is the business plan. The price is barely higher, but you get more resources, built-in e-commerce tools, and the full AI package for the website builder, along with WordPress AI builder support. I'll cover all of that later in this Hostinger tutorial. So that's the plan I went with. The next step is domain registration. If you want your website to look professional, this is a must. The good news is that with all three Hostinger plans, you get a free domain name for the first year. While it's possible to purchase a domain name and hosting separately, the simplest and smoothest approach is to register your domain directly through a web hosting provider that also serves as a domain registrar. When you're ready to register a domain, start by checking the availability of your desired name. If your first choice isn't available, try a few other variations. Short, memorable, and brand-friendly names typically work best. If you need help with ideas, there's the Hostinger AI Domain Name Generator. Keep in mind that you cannot change a domain name once it's registered, so take your time and choose carefully. During the registration process, be sure to enter your real personal information. Domain registrars require accurate details to validate ownership, prevent disputes, and avoid potential issues down the road. If you already own a domain name but plan to host your website with Hostinger, you can simply point your existing domain to Hostinger. This usually involves updating your domain's name servers to the ones provided in your Hostinger account. After updating the name servers, allow some time for DNS propagation, and your domain will begin directing visitors to your hosting or hosted website. Next, you'll need to get the website itself by either creating it or uploading it to Hostinger if you already have one elsewhere. First, I'll show you how to create it. If you don't need this step, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps. Since Hostinger is so versatile, there are two ways to build a website, by using Hostinger Website Builder or the good old WordPress. I always say the Hostinger Website Builder is the best option for any beginner. You can start by entering a prompt about your website and it gets built. No, really, it's that simple to get started. Look, it took like a minute. Of course, it will need some editing afterward to fill the site with relevant content. Now, if you're not into the AI method, there's a template option instead. If you click here at the bottom, you'll be able to choose from over 150 templates. There's pretty much an option for any type of website and style. Plus, you can even combine templates and AI. Just look for this AI tag. This way you get the template you like and still type in a prompt to get a head start. Whichever way you build your initial site, the next step is to edit it. it isn't the only reason I recommend hosting it for beginners. It's a no-code website builder with simple drag and drop controls. So basically, if you can use your mouse to move things around, you can build a site with Hostinger. Yes, there are some customization options and elements to get familiar with, but instead of overwhelming you, the process feels instinctive. And if that's not enough, there's an AI assistant called Cody, which can answer questions about your site. It's like talking to a friend who's a Hostinger expert and actually wants to help. To make things even faster and easier, Hostinger offers more AI tools than just Cody. There's an entire tab dedicated to them. While the AI writer and AI blog generator are pretty self-explanatory, they're huge time savers and let you start filling your site instead of staring at a blank page. There's also an image generator, which lets you create images just by describing what you need. Yeah, sometimes you can tell it's AI, but honestly, the images are high quality and you won't always have visuals that match your website's style or content. The same idea applies to the AI logo generator. 
If you're running a big business, you can probably spend money on a custom logo, but if you're on a tight budget, this tool can save you both time and money. And those aren't the only AI tools that can help. The AI product description generator is another big one. If you're running an online store, not having to manually write descriptions for every product is a blessing. Almost every beginner struggles with search engine optimization, and I get it. Normally the setup takes time and requires some experience. That's not the case with Hostinger because there's an AI SEO assistant that guides you through the setup in about a minute. Honestly, the hardest part is choosing three main keywords, and even then, suggestions are already there. Hey, you managed to find this video, so I'm sure you can handle that too. And for the best SEO results, I always recommend having a blog on your website. Good thing you can easily create one using the AI blog generator. So that's pretty much it for the hosting or website builder tutorial. Next, let's look at the more complex WordPress route, which offers more customization. After selecting the WordPress option, you'll need to create your hosting or login details. Then choose whether to build with hosting or WordPress AI or select a template. Next, select the domain you set up at the beginning of this hosting or tutorial. If you haven't done that yet, you can just use a temporary domain for now. You can also create a subdomain for a domain you own if this isn't going to be your main website. After that, WordPress will be installed and you'll be taken into the WordPress AI Builder. At the top, you'll choose whether you want the standard WordPress block editor or the Elementor Builder. Even though it's still in beta, I recommend Elementor since it makes the process easier and more streamlined after the AI does its thing. Then you'll select the type of website, enter a prompt, and your demo site will be ready in about a minute. This gives you a solid head start compared to a traditional WordPress setup where everything is built from scratch. That said, WordPress does require more maintenance and know-how afterward because of its extra features and plugins. I'm not going through all of that here, but feel free to check out my WordPress tutorial or just ask Cody and learn. Some of you already have a website and just want to move it to Hostinger. Let me show you how simple it is with a quick Hostinger guide. There's a free auto migration option. With it, you just need to provide your login details and the Hostinger team takes care of the entire migration for you. There's also a manual option. To do that, select import website from the website section. You can upload a single zip file containing your entire site or upload individual files like HTML, CSS, and images. Hostinger will extract everything automatically and place the files where they belong. Once the upload is complete, visit your domain to confirm your site is live. All right, so that wraps up my Hostinger tutorial 2026. Overall, it's one of the easiest modern platforms to use whether you're building a website from scratch or moving an existing one to Hostinger. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And if not, grab my Hostinger coupon code from the description and happy hosting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around.